Hey everybody, JK Calloway here, jumping back into The Handmaid's Tale. Episode 4, Season 4, this one's called Milk. That's what I'm drinking. Actually, I'm drinking it because I have a sore throat and a stuffy nose because I live in Minnesota. One day it was 85 degrees, and then the next day it was 50 degrees, and that day was yesterday. So now, my body's like... What's happening? Stuffy. I've got both my shots, so it's not the COVID. Let's jump back into it, because, like, yeah. I, I really like the way Handmaids, which is a Hulu exclusive, does their stuff. They put out three the first week, and then the rest come out weekly, one at a time. I like that. It's like, here's something to binge a little bit, and now wait for it, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I do like that. I don't mind the Netflix thing of everything's just... Bleh. You know what I mean? But, like, if it's quality, if it's really good, it's worth waiting for. So, and this is one of the more quality shows out there. So, yeah. Last we left off at the end of the, the third episode, uh, June and the rest of the Handmaids were caught again because, of course, they were. You knew it wasn't going to be a smooth season, but they did end up escaping to the point where they were all running away from the van where they were going to become... Uh, handmaids again, or like a, a breeding colony they were going to. Gross. Uh, but they didn't manage to escape, knocked down Aunt Lydia, and they were running to freedom because a train was coming, they were going to get on the other side, separate themselves, and uh, didn't quite work out. Only June and Janine got across. So, which sucks because like there was some great characters there. Alma was an incredible character, and that's the way she, go she went. So, disappointing for sure but powerful so it's gonna have some repercussions that's for damn sure meanwhile in toronto ugh, fred and serena are in custody uh but they're going back and forth on charging serena basically with uh as a sex offender you know because she got her eye to have sex with her handmaid and I'm sure that's just fine in Gilead, but you're in Canada, motherfucker. You need permission for that. But yeah, we'll jump back in, see what everyone's up to. I feel like this might be a heavy Toronto episode, which would be amazing, but yeah, let's do it. One of the best shows on TV. Fucking rules. Before we get into it, make sure you do hit subscribe for me right down there. We're like this close to 9,900 right now. We're like 120 away from 10K. How crazy is that? That's so cool. Thank you guys for the support. Hit like so more people find us. Get the notification bell if you wish to. We don't put that much stuff out. We'll put a lot of stuff out. For example, right now, Mondays, we're doing the Umbrella Academy. We got about half of season two left of that one. And then brand new show is going to start in its place. Tuesdays, we just started up Harley Quinn. That's a super fun show. If you want to check that one out, go watch the show on HBO Max and then come back here and join us. We'll do two episodes a week of that one. This Is Us will be on Thursdays when it's back and Hand Handmaid's Tale on Fridays. So yeah, lots of good stuff here on YouTube. Plus June's gonna be a busy month, man. Like we're gonna start up uh, Shadow and Bone. We're gonna start that up in June. Uh, we're also gonna do season four of Sabrina. We're gonna start that one up after, I believe Umbrella's over. I think off the top of my head, I'm not sure. But also, a big show starting up is Loki, so that's going to be a sweet month. Plus, June 1st, we put up the poll for our full season drop on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. We do full reactions for all the shows we do on YouTube, plus some exclusive stuff like full season drops. The first of the month, we always drop a full season of stuff. And the winner of the poll was the end of the fucking world. Which is going to be two seasons, in fact. So, I'm, I gotta start on that. I gotta get on that. It's like 16 episodes. Plus, we do some exclusive stuff on the weekends. Right now, we're doing Black Mirror and The Wire. Plus, we're doing all the, all the MCU we've done. We're going to start up in June, uh, the DCEU. Lots of fun stuff on Patreon, and it's an easy way to support the channel while still getting a bunch of content, so feel free. <laughs> I apologize for how I'm going to sound, because my nose is plugged. Is this very different? I don't think this is very different. Well, those are stuck together now. But yeah, milk. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, like, I would assume it's something to do with lactation or some creepiness. But, it, like, was anyone pregnant? Maybe. I don't know. Serena is. Serena's pregnant. Huge thing, by the way. Fuck. 
It's like, oh my god, Fred could be the father of Nicole, which is horrifying. So, yeah, let's jump back in and see what the fuck, because bad things are coming. <laughs> Janine, come on. Janine, they're dead. They're dead. Yes. Why would you go to the fucking Because that's why they're still fighting. Chicago is still Chicago. They're not giving up. Okay. But hell yeah, Midwest, motherfucker. Notice the East Coast just folded. What's up? Midwest, bitches. Carefully. Okay. Hey, Rita. Where the hell are you holding up? There's been a request from Serena Joy. She wants to know if you'll see her. Hmm. Why? She's in a cell where she belongs. She's only there because she wanted to be with Nicole. Rita. volunteering here at the clinic about a year ago with all the insanity surrounding the birth rate i figure pregnant women need all the help they can get right you're considering abortion as your first option yeah yeah that's why i made the appointment why is that fatherhood can be transformational for young guys oh my god Maybe you want to raise the baby with you shut your face um, yeah no <laughs> i don't think that's a good idea what i think is someone up there chose you for this um yeah a condom fell off that's what happened <laughs> That doesn't mean you can't have this baby. How does a condom fall off? How small Abortion is your dick? Abortion is dangerous. Well, we don't do them here. What? What is this place? Somewhere we can help you understand what happens when you choose abortion. Fuck off. They insert a tube into you and use it to tear the baby apart. Mm-hmm. If a tiny piece is left inside, like well. a toe or a finger, the infection makes you infertile. Yep, certainly can. Doesn't happen, though. All women regret doing this, Janine. Not all women. You think you'll be fine, but no one's fine after killing their baby. Lots of people are fine. And what is this? Interview prep materials from Mrs. Waterford's defense attorney. She wants me to blame the commander. That seems to be their strategy. Did you know in Gilead I was officially considered property? Mm-hmm. Of the Waterford family? I did. Yeah. It's nice to see a friendly face. Wow. We are friends. Don't show him. You deal with your family. It's not my job anymore. And I thank God for that every day. I'll pray for your son. Yeah, I guess not. 
You have no idea what we've done. We can be useful. Which one of you is staying with me? What? Don't be funny. Either one of you is fine. Don't, don't be that guy. You just said fucking sex slaves in America, and now you're oh, gonna oh, use one of them. I'll be fine. Seriously? You dipshit? Guess you're used to this. What's wrong with you? Bite his dick off. I'm not gonna force you. You guys can just go. I'll go somewhere else, okay? What was that look? Caleb! I hate you! Come here! I got you! Oh, I you. You're supposed to be in bed. Wait, does she already have a child at this point? Judy? She must have. Hi, I'm okay. Dr. Thomas. Oh, okay. It's nice to meet you. So, she already had a kid. Me too. Did the nurse get a chance to go over all your options with you? Um, yeah. Yeah, she did. And look, I know I could probably keep the kid. I, and you're comfortable with your choice? You're making this decision yourself? Yes. Then the rest is none of my business. Thank you. I am. The other place made it sound like something really horrible would happen. Right. Did you search abortion clinics online and end up there? They're called crisis pregnancy centers, and they lie to women to try some to keep unwanted pregnancies. Yup. Those are around them. fucking now. Disgusting. That's it? They can say. Tell him. So bad. He thinks my eye patch is cool. Janine. It's okay. It was her choice, but still. That look that Janine gave up to the second floor there, I was like, okay, she's gonna go get even with him. No. She took care of it. Path of least resistance, I was gonna say. Sure. And we keep seeing that Janine, you know, despite her, yeah, I don't know, skittishness, I guess is the best way to put it. She's not dumb, not by any means. She just doesn't, you know, want to be forced into situations. And that's all Gilead was, so, you know, so, you know, that was her choice. You know, if anything, that's, you know, freedom she hasn't had is to make that choice so hopefully that doesn't come back and you know freak her out but what the fuck's with the dude like the first thing you say to him is like oh sex slaves in america speaking of which who wants to fuck me to be safe like what's what the fuck is wrong with you and i get it's war that's a different situation but it's like fuck off dude like ah but the good news, they're somewhere safe-ish. I mean, they, they'll probably have to pick up a gun, you know, and, and do something. But as soon as June lets it out, who she is and what she's done, there's no way they haven't heard about June Osborne. There's no way that they haven't heard about Angels Fly, the, the flight. They got 86 children out and a number of Marthas, number of handmaids. They had to have heard about it right that's got to be a like a rallying cry for these guys so hopefully it turns out to be a good thing and then she's kind of like pushed to the forefront you know just not she's very capable like she killed a guy on a in a one-on-one -on -one fight you know like the, oh uh the commander you know she's yeah yeah she's fucking capable and i like I'm guessing next episode they're gonna find out just how fucking capable. I like the flashbacks with Janine. I mean, it's it's a nice reminder that we're not far away from this shit. You know, there are crisis centers now in America that are like, oh, you don't want to give up a baby. It's God's will. Mm, fuck off. You gonna take care of it? You gonna take this baby? No? Then fuck you. You know someone who's gonna? I'm talking from day one. If you don't, then fuck you. Like, oh God, high horse 
bullshit from a book written by people who didn't know where the sun went at night. God damn it, religion is so stupid. Sorry, I, meant, I don't know if I've mentioned how I'm an atheist. Mostly because I've read a number of those stupid fucking books. And it doesn't take long to read them and be like, oh, hmm, interesting. They have a whole area of how to buy and sell slaves. Interesting. I'm thinking this is bullshit. But yeah, we'll jump in episode five next week. Uh, it's a great episode. More, not only world building, uh, especially for obviously Janine. A lot of backstory that she did have a child when she was going to get an abortion. You know, it doesn't have to be that way, but it's an interesting wrinkle. And, you know, the fact that she already had a child, she's already busting her ass. And she knows that if she has another they're not going to survive, you know? Like, clearly, I, I don't know how what her situation was with family, but she was on her own, so makes perfect sense. Like, the con but the, the condom fell off. How does a condom fell, fall off? How did you do that? Are you using a magnum when you're very thin? Like, are, are, are you trying to overcompensate? How does a condom fall off? Like, let me, comments, like, let me know in the comments section. Have you ever had that experience? Male or female? How does a condom fall off? Like, I, I know I'm not the biggest human being on earth. There's no way. I'm like, well, I'm bigger than average, let's be real. I'm not horrifyingly large, and I'm not insanely thick by any means, and I've never had a condom once on wiggle at all <laughs> like how does how does a condom fall off that's freaking me out like they're pretty stretchy it's like leggings anyway i'll get off of that uh, get off of that <laughs> anyway uh awesome episode great backstory for janine and everything move forward as far as the story goes they, they have somewhere to stay now because of janine's decision to give up her body and you know, realize that, you know, five minutes of meh will lead to good things and safety, at least for a bit, until you gotta find out what they, you know, what they're really doing. I mean, they took out a train to get supplies. Is that all it is? Is that all they are? Are they just survivors? Or are they trying to push, you know, Gilead back or something? Are they actual soldiers? We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the episode. And uh, we'll jump into, like I said, episode 5 next week. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully I'll be better by then. I won't sound so weird. But yeah, appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time.